Let's move into the Eastern Conference. We'll start at the top. Philadelphia versus what would end up being in New England. New England. So Philly, New England would be the first one. I'm gonna go ahead and start this one off. I was gonna I was trying to think of who I wanted to to start, and I was like, I'll start it off. And this one's easy to me. Jim Curtin's Philadelphia takes this one. I think they are just again, they're they people sleep on them, but I think they have enough to get by at least New England. Um Shabilko is really good. <laughs> I think he's he's probably one of the most underrated players of all the, the whole league. Um, Kai Wagner, I've, I don't know if anybody saw those links of Kai Wagner out to Premier League. I think it was West Ham was one of them. And uh, Bundesliga, like top Bundesliga clubs. Um, so easily one of the best left backs in the league. Excuse me. Um, who's the other one? Sergio Santos. I, I believe I, I made that comment earlier in the year that he was going to have a really good year this year. And he had been pretty good. Um, and then Jamiro Montero holding that midfield together uh, with a back line of Captain Jack and Mark McKenzie and goalkeeper of the year, Andre Blake. Congratulations, Mr. Blake, on a fantastic season. But I think altogether they are just – Bruce can get it done in the first game, but I think that second game, I think he's just overmatched. Um, unless Teal Bunbury becomes super Teal Bunbury and runs things out the door, uh, I think Philadelphia just have enough to get it over the line. Um, you know, we can look back at, at you know, head-to-head -head stuff, but Philadelphia won the Supporters' Shield. We know that they've pretty much beaten everybody. Um, it's just a matter of keeping that culture going and keep going forward, and I think Jim Curtin's got a really good uh, group of guys who are going to follow him wherever he goes. Uh, I'm picking Philly for this one. Yeah, I mean, you, you have to be either a New England fan or kind of dumb to not pick Philly. <laughs> uh, like, you know, they have the bye, they have – a little bit more rest than New England does or whoever makes that spot. Um, but for a Philly team that's looked as good as they do and, you know, obviously winning Sporter Shield, like if they go out first round, that's a bad look. Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, it wouldn't be the first time somebody no. fell on their face after winning the Sporter Shield. No. But – I know. I was trying not to bring it up. Uh, I'm going to bring it up anyway. It's going to be a very, uh, very modern theme here. But I – and we'll get on to this in a little bit. But I would be very surprised if this Philly team doesn't go very far. I think the 11 they have plus a couple on the bench are – I'd argue the strongest core in the league in terms of all around, like, depth and talent this year. Um, that's – I mean, I could be – there could be some team I'm missing. That's just off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. But the the options they have to bring off the bench, so like Jacob Glesnus, Ilsenio, like they have some ridiculous players to bring off. Um, so like I, you know, I would be very, very, very disappointed or and surprised if they don't go very far into this. Sure, I, I agree with that. I think they've got a lot of they've got enough to go around, and they're deep, right? That's the big one is that they are deep enough to do it. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be a that'd be a tough one. Yeah, the, hard to not go with Philly here. I mean, you know, like I said, New England. Yeah, I I took a look at every team's form for the last five games coming into this. New England has the worst form in the entire league. Like every single team that's made the playoffs, New England has the worst form. I think, despite that, they have enough to get past Montreal, but I don't think they're getting past Philly. Not the way Philly looks this year. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much more to say, right? Players to watch, Montero, Shabilko, Andre Blake in the back. For New England, Carlos Hill, Tim Bun Teal Bunbury, um, Matt Turner, probably the top three on each side. Anybody got anybody else I want to watch? No. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. 